man, this weather is getting bad. Come on, get that stinking wet. Get Fox, the, stop that! Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it, Bob! What are you doing now? Get out of the you, you gonna... So I get on the phone, I call Sam, I said, Sam, hurry up. Have cycle sale, get over with the limo bus. We gotta hurry up and finish this job. You know, here we are, stuck in the snow. Sale finally gets there. Why would you take the Chrysler out in the snow? We know it doesn't handle well in the snow. Oh, here's cycle. Bob took this job. It's a friend of his, of some kind of a favor. Great. So I gave him the keys. I said, take the limo bus, go get the client. Leave me here stuck in the snow at the 300. So we get to the house. We're a little late, but it looks like they've been drinking for days. Get going, dude. Kids are screaming, yelling, having a good time. Come on, you only hit 21 once. I figured, what the hell, let them party down in that limo. God, you're awesome, man. Right. Yeah! Riding around, everybody's having a good time in the back, learning the music. I know they're drinking back there. Yeah. Everyone gets out. Bob tells me to go park. And he says he'll call me when he needs me. I told Neil and Kane to meet me over here so we could follow her to see if she's moonlighting. All right, now let's just go get ourselves a bus. Yeah. <laughs> Bob thinks Dominique is up to something shady. Well, he's always accusing her of stuff, but he's never caught her. So tonight, he wants me, Tang, follow him, see what happens. Dude, we're going to get her. I told her, don't leave the bar. Why did she leave the bar is what I want to know. And what if she's just going to the gas station? Are you sticking up for the sister again, brother? <laughs> oh, here we go. She must be going to that nightclub. Oh, dude, I should just cut her off. No, you can't, dude. I want to catch who the f she's driving. Yeah, you can do anything in the world. Don't steal from me. Moonlighting is stealing. Did she actually go in there to get something? Man, I ain't seen shit. I don't even know what you guys are looking at. I really like Yamanika. I hope she's not fucking around. As I told you, I think she's just going to go get some ice cream. Yeah, like she needs more ice cream. <laughs> There's between me and Neil. I've been screwed for over three decades. Neil is still a little wet behind the ears. Tank, where'd you find this car, man? It's a rental, Bob. They can rent these nuts, man. This truck is small. What the f did you <laughs> f***ing leave it? She's got a f***ing banana split. She's going to the f***ing bar. All I'm saying is she got an ice cream cone, and we're out here looking stupid, so. Stay right on her tail, dude. And there she is. She got the call. Look at this. Pull it right up, baby. See, Neil, this is scamming 101. She's stopping. What's she doing in the grocery store now? I bet you the people are gonna come out right now. There she goes. I bet you she's picking up some liquor. Is this a liquor store too? Yep. She's picking up the freaking liquor. I bet you twenty dollars she comes out for a loaf of bread and some damn milk. I've got fifty on it, Neil. I'll take that bet. Dude, you keep sticking up for her. He's probably seeing her. Neil, are you dating the Amanika? Somebody's gotta keep it real, y'all. You haven't caught her doing anything, then what? You're innocent until I think you're not. We don't do nothing until she comes out. Oh, here comes a crowd. I want her to load that baby up and then spin out in front of her. It's a crowd because we're in front of the damn grocery store. We'll get her. Watch. It's too bad she got a great personality, man. I hate they had to fire her tonight. Here she comes. What the hell she got? Yeah, Neil, that doesn't look like bread and milk to me. She got some liquor. Dude, she's stocking up the limo because she got a whole bunch of people I bet you she's going to take out. Give me the 20. And when we see other people, I'll give you all the 20s you want. Where is this woman taking us, man? When the f can I get a normal weekend? Just one, not two, just one. I'm telling you. Coming up. I think you're moonlight. What? I've been tagging you for 45 minutes. And later. Oh, all of a sudden, the guy comes running out with a f***ing crowbar in his hand. That's what happens when you don't pay, bitch. Here she goes. She's going straight to the bar. Oh, uh, dude. No, no, she's going to keep no, driving. No, she's no. going to do it. She's going to that bar. Less brothers. Less brothers? What type <laughs> of racist <laughs> is that? You can stay in the car. <laughs> I might have to. F*** that. Well, you want to sit here and watch, or? I'm telling you right now, look, she's setting her stage. 
Here she goes. Honestly, I can't believe it. You see, deal? See? Oh, look at her. She's going. And here it is. Look at this. Look at this. I told you. Here it is, baby. Look at this. There ain't no shot. Let her shut that door. You go to the ice cream store, fine. You go to the grocery store, fine too. You pick up customers, you're busted. Hit it, baby. Hit it. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. Yo! What the is this, Yami? Get out! I thought I could trust you, girl. Who you pick up? What? I've been tagging you for 45 minutes. Who's in the truck? What is this, cops? I'll tell you, cops. Who's in my truck? Yo, it's my cousin, man. Your cousin? I told you I had family here. I just What did I tell up? you about leaving a location with my people in there? What did everybody leave Yami, my people? This bullshit. I think you're moonlight. You pick these people up. You let my people over in place. No, no, it's not like that. That's my cousin. His car broke down. He just called me, man. Yeah, he's been driving around for like 40 minutes. Neil, step off. Hey, what? Neil, you know, Bob and Tank are pretty big. But Neil, I'll f him up. Get oh. your people out of here. Come on. I don't care if they're stranded. I got my people to take care of. You got them over there. You know, when I catch these drivers, they give me all kinds of stories. You can't even dream up yourself. Come on, Bob, you know we can Get do this. Get your people out of my emergency, truck. Man. Is that really your cousin? Don't lie to me. Why would I pick up somebody? All right. You, you know how to keep it moonlight in this business. Take those people, get rid of them, take them where they're going. If they weren't your cousin, I'd throw them out. Well, you take them back. You got to go back and get my people. Um, man, why wouldn't I? I'm the best limo driver you got. Listen, nobody steals some limo. If you ever pick a family again, down, you please let me know, OK? I'm sorry I got all over you, all right? Give, him, give my best. Tell your guy. I'm sorry, baby. Now, Times worry. are tough. I don't want to have to do this, but I got to count every dollar. I need to know my drivers are doing the right thing. I like an apology. F that, man. <laughs> I told both of you that she wasn't picking up anybody, man. So I think, actually, um, somebody owes me, like, $20. You owe me $100. I'll take $75 in an apology. What yeah. about 50 to f you? Yeah, <laughs> right. Since the economy is starting to get so bad, we've had to open up a business to other services. Now we provide custom limo detailing, renting out limos for photo shoots, and from time to time, we lease my limos out for a monthly fee. But every new thing I do, it brings a whole new batch of headaches. Now that we're done tailing Yamanika, we're gonna repo a limo from a deadbeat client. You know, we're not in the repo biz, but I leased this guy a limo. The guy is very late on his payments, and now he's stealing my customers. That's it. It's time to repo it from him. Dig up around a the corner. There it goes right there. There it is. There's their babe. His light's on. We pull up to this guy's house. The light was on in the living room. He's in there watching TV. Just we'll, creep up. Yeah. We'll just have to wait. Hide right around this little tree here. Our lights are down. We're going to snatch this baby as soon as this guy's lights go off. Neil, All right. when his lights go off and this guy retires, I want you to get out. I'm ready, man. OK. As soon as you take off, be careful. Pulling out, it's real icy. But we want to make it swift and quick. So we're waiting for this light to go out in the living room. And then we're waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. This son of a bitch needs to go to bed. So the light finally goes up. We gotta give this guy a little bit of time to settle into bed. Let's go, showtime. Just beat our time. Neil, fast. All right, get it, boys, get it. Let's go, man. So I'm running up to the limo, trying to get the door open. I can't get it open. Everything always goes wrong. Go. Are we? All of a sudden, the living room light goes on. Nelio, get the f out of there. Hurry up, his light's on. Go. Yeah, man, are we? Oh, man. Let's go, dude. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yo, yo, here we go. Oh, All of a sudden, the guy comes running out with a f***ing crowbar in his hand. Come for it, it's tank at. Here, go, yo, yo. Man, I thought I was gonna run the guy over. Yo. That was a close one. Yo, get your ass out of way. That's what happens when you don't pay, bitch. The shit I gotta do to keep on top of my business. If I don't do it, it don't get done right. For most people, Friday is the best day of the week. 
For me, it's the beginning of the book. Here we go. 